Welcome back to the channel. Awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Nokia One Plus. So this is what we call the resurrection of the brand Nokia. So for the people not familiar with the brand, uh, back in the day, I'm calling about the 90s, they were one of the biggest company who released telephones. So, but in let's say in the follow-up years, Nokia disappeared from the market, but they are back. And they're not back with a Windows phone. No, they are back with Android. So we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to test it out. What are we going to get? Very curious. It's a very cheap phone. So what can we expect for the money? The Nokia One Plus is running on Android 9 by the Go Edition. It's a very basic version of Android. It has a pretty wide screen, more than five inches, an eight megapixel out of focus camera. And this has an, also a LED flasher. It has a quad-core CPU inside that is running on 1.5 GHz and it has 1 GB of RAM with 8 gigs of storage. You can upgrade it to 128 GB if you want. Alright, let's see what comes inside the package. Oh. So what we're going to get here is the phone itself. I'm guessing this is the battery. Alright, so that is pretty convenient that you have a separate battery. Very good. So if you want to replace it in a couple of years, you can always very easily replace it. And holy shit, pile of manuals. And let's see, it works on micro USB. Oh yeah, that's so convenient, they're still using micro USB. And of course, it comes with the charger itself that says Nokia, Ooh, official. All right, so let's see how we assemble it. So this is what you're going to get. It's a pretty basic version still. I really like this matte finish at the back. It's very nice, the blue version. I'm guessing they will sell these in different colors, but I just got the blue one. And let's in later overview what are we going to get. All right, so for an overview, let's start with the front. We have a five megapixel camera. We have here a microphone and the Nokia Deco. At the top, we're finding a headphone jack. And at the bottom, we are finding the micro USB. All right, so here at the back, we can find the speaker itself. Pretty unusual because most of the time they're putting speakers at the bottom over here. But there is nothing, only the micro USB connection. Hmm. At the side, we're finding volume control and the on and off switch. And at the back, we are finding the 8 megapixel camera with the flash light. I'll show you a little sample of video I've made so you can see the quality of the camera. And yeah, for a cheap phone, it has a camera, but it is not the best quality. All right, so if you take a close look at the pictures, uh, of course, it's the same camera, but the colors, a little bit washed out in my opinion, not very good, but still are very sharp pictures. Alright, so this is how it looks inside and this is the dual SIM edition. So we can use two SIM cards in here and here we have a slot 40 SD card. Alright, let's put a battery in and let's power it on and let's see what we're going to get. And for the people who are interested in the battery, this is a 2500 milliamp battery. So what you need to understand, this is a pretty budget system. So uh, the support of all the games, yeah, I think you can play some games. Are we going to play some Maya Run on it to see how it works? And as you can see, it's not very fast if you're going to scroll through the store. But yeah, this is what you can expect for the money. All right, let's play some Mario. All right, first startup, let's see how fast it boots up. I can tell you it took forever that the thing installed. Oh, all right, let's play a little bit and let's see how it runs on this cheap ass Nokia. Right. Yes, I know. Stage one, let's go. Oh my god, I am just missing. I feel the
No point. No, no. Right, so let's watch a movie. Let's see how it works if you scroll a little bit on YouTube. Hmm. It works pretty smooth, so that is not that bad. All right, let's watch in the video and let's see how it runs. Sound is not bad at all. Image is not bad. So <clears throat> I checked the quality settings and as you can see here that there is no 1080p support. So the 480p is the maximum YouTube can give welcome you. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So Indeed, yes, video, welcome back we to the channel. So Wicked just set up. All right, it's time for a benchmark and uh, let's see how it's running. As you can see here, we have information is in running on ERM MT6738WW CPU. The OS is Android 9 and the model is the HMD Global Nokia Plus. Okay, run CPU benchmark and let's see how fast is this quad core. All right, so this is the score. We're having 638 points for the single core and 790 for the multi-core. Let's do a little bit of comparison. So 638 points that compares with doo -doo -doo -doo, is not even listed. So in other words, for a single core, it's not that powerful. But yeah, what can we expect for the money people? What can we expect? Multi-core, 790 points. And it's compared with an, let's say an LG Nexus 3 with a snapdragon so it's not very slow not very slow for the money no not at all all right so let's take a close look at some information of the telephone manufacturer is hmd global board in the md6739 let's see we have more device and one gig of ddr3 and we're having 435 MB left. All right, let's take a close look at the CPU. It's a MediaTek MT6739WW. ARM Gore-Tex A53 that is running on 1.5 gigahertz. Processor at 28 nanometers. All right, clock speed indeed, four cores, all right. Alright, let's take a close look at the screen itself. It's running on 480 by 960. It's an EPS LCD. It's bigger than 5 inches. Refresh rate 58 Hz. Default operation. And here's some more information. And that rhymes. Alright, so for the final conclusion regarding the Nokia One Plus. So the build of the Telephone, it's pretty basic, but what I think is very unique that this thing has even a dual SIM in it. That's something you don't see very often with other phones. So the Android 9 Go, it's a pretty basic version, and as you can see with scrolling, you can see a little bit of a slowdown, but in general, it works pretty fine. The sound is not bad at all. The camera, it's what you can expect for the money. So let me know what do you think of this. Really love to know. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell for more awesome wicked content. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.